footsteps along the corridor yeah, yeah, behind yeah. you. Carl, you're right. Tell us you can hear that. That sounded like a female voice. Whoa! I'm Yvette Fielding and this week I've brought you to Yorkshire and to a place that houses a multitude of hauntings. From ghostly children to a phantom tea lady and to a malevolent entity. Welcome to Most Haunted and the Nottingley Town Hall. After almost a century of meetings being held in a room of a workhouse at Hilltop, it was decided that the ancient and noble town of Nottingley needed its own public building. And so, on the 29th of June 1865, the foundation stone was laid by Sidney Wolfe. And although dogged by controversy and disagreements, Nottingley Town Hall was opened on the 15th of September of the same year and at once became the central point for local residents, with 70 people attending its opening ceremony. The ground hall it's built on has its own history, as it was once home to a medieval monastery which was dissolved by King Henry VIII. The area is also said to have been used for witchcraft and pagan rituals. The hall itself has witnessed celebrations, great wars and tragedy, so no wonder it's said to be haunted by the restless souls of its mysterious past. With occurrences in most parts of the building, spectral shadows, ethereal noises and ghostly children, I just had to bring my team to Nottingley Town Hall. Dark shadows and knocking noises seem to be experienced in this particular area. The stage seems to be a hotspot for paranormal activity, but who is responsible for it? Boardroom has been a meeting place for many years. Debates and heated conversations have taken place. But now this massive table is known to vibrate and move all on its own. Boding cellars touch the surface of what used to be a medieval monastery. Could the dark shadows that are seen here regularly be that of the monks that would have resided here? Some World War II airmen were killed tragically in a car accident outside this building. Their bodies were brought in here until it was time for them to be laid at rest. Could it be their hands that grab unsuspecting guests? Guttural groaning noises are also heard. Who's responsible for this strange paranormal phenomena? Hopefully, we'll find out tonight. To get more of an insight into what has occurred here, who better to ask than Town Hall Secretary and volunteer Christina Gelder about her experiences. I run my local dance school here, so basically it means sometimes being here on my own early in the morning, late at night, and it wasn't until a couple of years into teaching here that um, a few things started happening. Um, so basically if we locked the toilet doors on a night, lock up, shout, anybody there, lock the doors, turn the, turn the key, and then the handle would start moving up and down really, really fiercely, and the children would be shouting, oh, you've locked somebody in. So we open the door and check, there's absolutely nobody there at all. Also felt presences at the side of me. I've been in a room, walking out of the room, turn around to speak to somebody to find that there's nobody there at all. We've had glasses smashing behind the bar. 
a glass has just jumped off the shelf and completely smashed into lots and lots of pieces, had to be thrown with some kind of force. A lot of us experienced footsteps across the hall, from one side of the hall to the other. Voices, usually muffled voices, um, men's voices, keys jangling. In places like the basement, um, myself and Leslie don't come on our own into the basement. Most of the time they are nice presences, but some of the time they can be quite frightening. With so many ghost sightings, stories of witchcraft and a site that was built on top of a medieval monastery, I wondered if this location was just as intriguing to demonologist Fred Bat as it was to us. Well tonight this is a very interesting location as far as I'm concerned. It's built on the remains of a medieval monastery. In fact it's mentioned in the Doomsday Book. The building we're in now was built in the late 1800s, but in 1857 it was the site of the Swan Inn. There was a Saxon burial pit nearby where some charred bodies were found, and that usually means a witchcraft in the area. Is there a connection between the witchcraft that happened here hundreds of years ago to the entities that are here today? Tonight we're hoping to find out. As a demonologist, I'm not really interested in the ghosts of children running around and dark shadows appearing. I want to see the beast himself. And with what I've been told goes on here, there may be a chance of that. Let's hope so. Tonight, I'm going to conduct an experiment that's going to change the life of one of the crew. They don't know who it is, nor does anybody else, but tonight, it's going to be spectacular. In such a place with so many stories, it's good to keep our feet on the ground. Enter our resident sceptic, Glenn Hunt. Now, Glenn, we have got ghostly children, a malevolent entity, the ghost of a tea lady, the ghost of World War II uh, airmen. We've got a whole gamut of, of different types of, of uh, ghostly apparitions and poltergeist activity. So we should get some fantastic stuff tonight. OK, well, that's all the makings of a good night out for yeah. most haunted, isn't it, really? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it remains to be seen, doesn't it? You know, that, those are the stories we've been told. That's what we're led to believe. And now we've got those in our minds. Same old story, isn't it? Then that's what we're going to perceive as happening when we hear a bang or a bump or something like that. But what impresses me about this place is that, you know, this information hasn't been picked up by psychics or mediums. They've been seen on uh, more than one occasion by groups of people all at the same time. So it's not just one person seeing the ghost of a tea lady. It's three or four people seeing her at this, exactly the same time, a solid figure, the same as the, as, as the child and so on. That to me excites me because they're full apparitions that are being seen regularly by a group of people. It's, again, it's hearsay though, isn't it? You might have somebody in a group uh, saying I've just seen something did you see that and automatically there's a suggestion well I thought I saw something and then straight away well I thought I saw something and they don't really know what they saw they probably didn't investigate it at the time so it could all just be hearsay. Well it's easy for us to judge because we actually weren't there but hopefully we'll be able to you know have that conversation tonight if we see a full apparition. The other thing that intrigues me is in the boardroom there's this massive horseshoe uh, table that seems to uh, be known to vibrate and actually lift up on its own, yeah. which for me is extraordinary and I hope we get that this evening. Has the horseshoe shaped table though tilted during a council meeting or has it happened whilst there was some paranormal investigation going on? Because if it actually happened in front of councillors then I would find that absolutely fascinating but at the moment it remains to be seen doesn't it? And of course we've got the cellars and they are really creepy. I mean we've you know experienced some creepy cellars but there's something really quite off about this place. The fact that the whole building has been built on top of a medieval monastery as well. So we haven't just got this town hall, we've got layers of history throughout. So hopefully we should get some great stuff tonight. Do we know the uh, ghostly tea lady is from the medieval monastery or not though? I don't think so. <laughs> so much to investigate and the whole team ready, I was eager to get more acquainted with the building. Okay guys, so this is the infamous boardroom and this is the infamous table. It's massive, isn't it? It is. It's also really heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Now, if this thing lifted in a council meeting, 
then why have we not all heard about it in the news or something like that? But if, if as ghost hunters, uh, the perception is there automatically that a table could lift up. Well, I have actually been in seances and, and, and done table tipping sessions with extremely large heavy tables and they have moved and it's extraordinary. It really, really is. So unless you've actually experienced it, which you haven't yet, mm. You can't really comment on it. Well, I want to comment, but until it has happened to me, then I can't comment, can I? Let's hope that it happens tonight. Well, fair enough. We'll Absolutely. But it's a great room, isn't it? You can imagine, it's, can't it's you? That... Yeah, you can feel something in here, can't yeah, you? Yeah, definitely. But, but these big tables do move, Glenn. Yeah, they really, really do. OK, just not publicly. <laughs> We shall Almost. see later on. I, I honestly hope, apparently this is a bit of a hot spot, this particular room, for a lot of paranormal activity. So oh, let's okay. hope that we, we yeah. get some stuff tonight. Now in this ballroom, the um, paranormal activity really centres around the stage area. And there's been dark shadows coming from the doors at the end, flitting from one to the other, which is quite interesting. Um, great space though, isn't it? We've got the round tables if we wanted to do a, a seance or a Ouija great board. Ouija. Let's not forget though, obviously it's a big room. We've got radiators cooling down. There's been a function here earlier today. Uh, the room is settling. We've got wooden floors. They'll be creaking. So in the darkness, obviously it's all going to sound a bit spooky anyway, isn't it? Even mm. though it's quite perfectly normal mm. behaviour for a room like this. Yeah. And the other thing is there was a Saxon settlement here. Saxon settlement even. And the Saxons were into witchcraft. They found a, a burial chamber with charred bodies in, so the bodies have been burned. Something to do with witchcraft. But there's still witches in the area now. So that'd be nice to see what we can pick up witchcraft-wise as well. well that'd be interesting. Yeah. And of course, the thing that excites me more than anything is the lift. And the lift. Well, the lift. Oh, we have. Yeah. I, and, and I know yeah. I keep going on about it. I'd like to be able to do an experiment where we get in the lift. I ask for the lift, lift to stop between mm -hmm. floors. If it does, Fantastic. If it doesn't, you know, who well, knows? Well, you know, it's mechanical. As I said before, anything mechanical could go wrong, couldn't it? So you can't really rely on it 100%. Yeah, you... Not on yeah, not on command. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> you don't know. And it's been working all day anyway, the lift, hasn't it? Yeah, well, we'll see. Now, this to me is one of the spookiest cellars I think we've, we've investigated. It's a great place, isn't it? And, and it's a great history too, because of course you've got the fact that there used to be a medieval uh, monastery here. That's right, this looks like a floor from it as well, doesn't it? Just, mm, well, it's quite old, isn't it? It is very, very, very old. It's very um, but also during World War II, there were the bodies of the airmen. They, they put the bodies ah, in here okay. as well, which is interesting. Yeah. But people have been grabbed and also this sort of groaning noise that they, they often hear. Mm. So there's a lot of activity that happens down here. So I mean, just let's not forget about the fact that every cellar's got a story, hasn't it, really? Yeah. So, you know, if something does happen whilst we're down here, then fantastic. But if it doesn't, I wouldn't be too surprised. So Fred, apparently you're going to be doing a bit of an experiment this evening? I am. It's something I've done before. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not. It did the last time I did it. Uh, and it's going to affect one of the crew and it will change their life forever. So how do we know when you're doing it? You won't until you actually see what happened. You so haven't told a soul. Nobody here knows, not even Carl, the producer. Right, fantastic. I won't have to tell you a thing. You'll see it. Well, you, you know nothing. No, I know nothing. I think that's probably the right approach, really, to keep yeah. it to yourself. So when something does happen, I'll be watching this with specific interest tonight and probably a lot okay. of the viewers will be as well. Maybe we'll change your mind tonight. Then. Oh, is it going to be me? I can't tell you that. I can't tell you who it's going to be. Well, I think we should turn all the lights off in the building and get cracking. That's okay. Lead okay. the way. It was time to turn the lights off and get started. Cameraman Greg and soundman Darren went to the stage area on the top floor for a seance, whilst Glenn and myself went to the cold, dark cellars. Okay, we need to start at the top. What's that noise? I don't know. I just heard it. Yeah, I heard that. I just assumed there's, there's barrels down there, isn't there? Like a. Um, hmm. If someone is pulling a pipe, I don't know the bar's working, is it? Just put this torch on the stairs. That's it, so I can see where I'm. There we go. It's me and Glenn. Okay. It's pitch black. Now, if you want, I can turn the torch off and you can lead the way. There's a safety light on in there. You've done this before. It's supposed to be interesting, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm sure it's just little light fingers on the table. 
Yeah. So if there is anybody here, if they can use our bodies, channel your energy through us, and make this table move. Yeah, but I could have sworn I just heard footsteps or banging on the floor below me. I switched the torch off. That's just everybody upstairs, yeah. that is. Let's go in the room with us. We'll stand the floor. Can you, can you smell like uh, burnt wood? I thought it was just your aftershave. <laughs> <laughs> Aside from the bad aftershave, can you can you smell? No. Because you know there's that fireplace there, which has been completely taken out. It's just exposed brick. So mm. the point is, there's nothing has been burning in there any time recently, has it really? No. But I can smell the, the fire's been on. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Are there any spirits here with us now? Can you make a noise? So we're making ourselves open to you. If you want to use our form, our bodies, to affect the matter in this table and make it move either side to side or lift it or push it. Hello, can you hear me? It does sound like this sometimes, like this footsteps along the corridor yeah, yeah, yeah. behind you, but there isn't. No, no. Um, let's set this chair here. We'll put it in the room. Mm. Hello? If there's anybody here, I'm calling out to any spirits that might be in this place, if you can hear us, can you make a noise? Can you throw something? Please, can you move something? Let us know that you're here. No. It sounded like there's something coming from down here. In the corridor? Yeah. Like an electric meter or something in there, Glenn, because I could hear something making an odd noise. I can't see anything. I'm just relying on the camera. Can you see it on the wall that resembles a meter or Did it sound, it sound like that to me? Did you hear it? No. Like a no, there's no meter or anything. Did you get any kind of vibe up here? I do get a little bit of... It doesn't feel... It doesn't feel bad, mm. but it just feels like, you know, the, your stomach's a little bit churny. Do you know what I mean? That's the kebab out of it. Could be that. <laughs> we wanted something really solid right in front of our faces, don't we? Yeah. Let's get something that's ticking up here. I want to see what Is, this the, is that the lift? Yeah. Oh, let's call the lift and go up in the lift. Okay. Can you stop the lift? Calling to any spirits that might be listening now. If you could stop the lift, that would be great. Come oh, on. popping. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. I've got that. Glenn doesn't believe that you exist, but I know that you do. So if you could just stop the oh, lift. Oh, it stopped. Is that good on the basement? Yeah. yeah. Although the night was off to a slow start, I wanted to see if Eamon had picked up on any EVP relating to our vigil. Hey, we were down in the cellar and we were sort of just calling out and saying, you know, could you talk to Eamon or 
did you get anything well in the last 10 minutes really? I did actually, yeah. And it, it's been quite active as you can hear this voice is coming through the two-way machine. Um, I've got something to play for you actually. Okay. To me, that's a human voice, but I don't know what he's saying. It's just it not always sounds clear. like it's underwater, doesn't it? That's I the see, problem. It's quite muffled, isn't it? But it's. Um... Oh, it's definitely a human voice. It's like a question. I know, it sounds and I... like they're asking a question. Yeah. So there's absolutely no way while we were down there that uh, the microphones in here could have just... It's not just recording our voices yeah. calling out or it's, anything like that. It's deadly silent through. Okay. I mean, you get the odd tap, which is... I don't know if that's atmospheric, but a voice like that is, you know, coming out of the other. Play it one last time. Of course, it's open to interpretation, isn't course, it? Of it course, could, It could sound anything yeah. that you want it to sound, really. It's good, it's, uh, though. It's a good it's a great start. start. It's a brilliant yeah. start. I mean, there's clearly some activity. The machine started a little bit slow tonight, but on here, this is this is pretty good. I've still got some more to go through, so yeah, if you yeah. find anything else... Give us a shout. I'll give you a shout. All right. Come on, let's get going. With Eamon manning the EVP, we needed to continue. So Glenn, Greg, Darren and myself stayed in the boardroom, whilst Carl, Stuart and Fred went to the cellar. Okay. The thing is though, the longer we, we, we're here, the worse this place seems. Yeah. It's weird, isn't it? I'm, I, I, don't, I don't want to go in there. I know I'm going to, but I don't want to go in Look, look how dark it is. I mean, I know in the infrared you can see, but... You are right, Stu? I think silence. Silence is everything. If there's anybody here... Wow. Already? Every time I've been back in this room, there's been loads of waveform going off on that. It's silent when you leave. You can't hear it down the hall, but when you come back in, there is something there. Let's just, should we just concentrate? I want to see if we can get some vibration going on this table, which is supposed to happen. Yeah, it's not to me, isn't it? If there's anybody here, please, can you hear my voice? Can you use your energy? Can you use our energy in this room? And can you move the table? Can you shake the table, please? Is anybody here? Please, can you hear my voice? Is anyone here? Is anybody here? Come forward and show yourself. Make a noise. Hit us. Push us. You know I've been down here already working. There's, There's knocks. some energy down there. Fred, now. Fred. There's knocks. There's knocks. That's under my feet again. We haven't had knocks all night. No, we haven't, have we? I'm going to point the camera now there because that's where I was standing. It's not that's really loud, isn't it? There's Carl and there's Fred. Do you know what that feels like, Carl? It's like someone's underneath the floorboards hitting. Hitting, exactly. If someone's here, do something else. The, the knocks are great. We've, we've been having knocks for you guys for years. Um, what was that? That was, that was down the end. end. That was down there. Yeah. yeah. Let me go first because I can see. <sighs> right, we've got a room to the right and then we've a room to the left. The rest here is just stone. Right. So it's stone floor right now. So it must have come as if a floorboard was standing on her cart. Yes, yeah, it is. That yeah. noise may have come from this area then. Can you make the table move, please? If there's somebody here, can you make the table move? <coughs> what was that? That was interesting. Oh. Are you trying to do that again? Damon, come and join us at the table. Can you move the table if you're here? Please 
please come towards us now. Use all of our energies. Hey, come on, Greg. Can you use our energies? Use, use us, please. Make the table shake. Make it move. Ooh. Uh, did you not want to? Well, at the same time as that, did you not hear the, the, the table underneath do a slight, like a movement? No. Oh, I did. I was concentrating on that then, I missed that. But the power was at the same time as. I don't care. Is somebody moving the fingers now? No, I'm not. Did you not hear that? Hello? Carl, you're right. Tell us you can hear that. I can yeah, hear it. Yeah, that, yeah. That's down we, there. You pointed and I said it at the same time. Back up there. That's footsteps. That's yeah. footsteps. It's footsteps. <gasps> Who was that? Somebody threw something on it. Threw what? I don't know. Up there behind you, Stuart, that wouldn't it? Was that way. Whoa. Listen, Whoa. That was a moan down here. Yes. I can't see. I you. definitely you heard that. I heard that. To, I'm going to. To me, you. that you. sounded like it was female. That sounded like a female. Jeez, I thought that was. That sounded like a female voice. That was at the end again. You, every time we're up there, I know, I know, it's, it, it, it's coming right, the other way. Stu, for some stupid reason, I'm going to stay down here. Right, okay, go I'll go up there. If the noise comes up here, just keep the camera kind of near right. me, if you know what I mean. Right, I've got the camera on you a sec, Carl. Right. right, I'm going to have to turn the other way because I can't Who's see that? where I'm leaving going now. Is anybody there? Knock down here. You're hearing knocks, Carl? There's a, there's a Hang on. in this room, to the left. So there's a, get down there, Stuart, get down there, I can't. To the left, to the left. Whoa! Oh! Whoa. There was a what was that, Fred? A cable. That wasn't there before. Carl? What? Where have you gone? I'm here. Right, let's just take stock of what's going on here now. What was in here, Carl? It's a moan, definitely a moan. It was a... Oh. A real deep. So it sounded male. What was that that was thrown? Did something fall? It was over? a roll of electrical, electrical cable. cable. But we don't know if that was on the floor before. I don't know where. Where we put it, Fred? It it's really on the table. I see it. Table now. Ever yeah. since this has been charged up, it's a different place. Yeah. Well, this Listen. is where I had someone answering me. Did you not hear that? I did. Who's that? I no. I heard it loud and clear. Can you move the table, please? Can you copy me? Do you know what? I don't think I could actually be down here on my own. No, no. I, th I, I, yeah, I'd probably. Somebody else that stupid. I know, I know, I've just heard something come from. Hello? Who is that? No. Who is it? Hello? Come on, Fred. Fred, Fred, stay there. Let me zoom in and focus up. Come on, Stuart, sort your ass out. No, that's just a door, it's just a reflection of a door. No, there was somebody there, because this was going on. See this, this. Um, security thing. Yeah. This went off. Oh, it was flashing, yeah. It was flashing. So something's oh. walked, walked in front of it. Oh, it's flashing again. It's yeah, that's us. That's us. So something, it was literally something was here. Yeah, and it was it's it's off now. It's just one bar on. Look. Watch that, Stuart. Watch I can yeah, see it. It's yeah. going off. I can now. see it. It's on amber. It's so we wouldn't have triggered that off down there then, Carl. See, look. That's all wrong so it's, it's doing it now because we're in close yeah. proximity to it. Yeah. 
Whatever's here doesn't want to see it, does it? Can you please move the table? Can you make it shake? Please do something in this room. Let us know that you're here. We don't mean you any harm. We just want to talk to you. Please. We know you can hear us. There's something down in it. Does does doesn't want, want to say it, does it? Oh. Listen, listen. That's, that's running. It's running. Oh yeah. Oh god. Yeah. That's somebody walking towards us. Mm. I'm not moving the camera. The camera is exactly focused on the end of the corridor. I can see something right through the middle there, like a white shape, look right through. Can you see that, Stuart, on the camera or not? No, I can, well, no, I'm, I'm just looking in night vision now. Everything's just gray. I can't see anything in shot. I can see something white through there. So it's not your eyes adjusting then? No, because I haven't been... <gasps> get up! Whoa! Get up! Get, get, get up! Did you not see that? Get gone! <laughs> what was it? You didn't see that? I didn't see anything, Cal, no. I didn't see a thing. Right in front of us. It was dark. What, down the end of the corridor? Just dark, and it was like, <sighs> sound again. I can't, I'm not doing that. It's right, that was right near us. Go on, I'm, I'm done. Go on, let's get going. With the boys quite spooked by what had happened and the morning drawing ever near, I decided it was time for Fred to undertake his experiment. So I gathered the whole team in the large hall where we synchronised all the cameras by time code and a sound clap so as to be sure that every second is accounted for. Lovely. Right, we're bingo. That's the sort of light we need. With anticipation high, the countdown started. Three, two, one. Right. Ready? Ready. Is this what we're supposed to do? Just call out? Call out? Right? Yeah, see what happens. Hello, is there anybody here? Okay, Fred. <laughs> now, we've got these all time coded with the other cameras, so they're upstairs. Yeah. And what are you going to do? Well, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Okay. I haven't told you what yet. You, you know I'm going to do something. Well, yeah, what do you want to do? You want to know this one? But it's what we've done once before. We did it on a live show some time ago. And it's the voodoo doll. Oh, wow. And that's the person I'm going to do it to. All right. Okay. Now, nobody knows. He doesn't know. No, you didn't know until I've just shown no, you. No, it's a... But this has been charged up before we came down here. I put a spell in it. I put, I've got bits and pieces of Stuart's parts of his personal things that belong to him inside this bag. So what, what's in that, can you tell us? I can't tell you now, I don't want people to know on screen what we're doing okay. exactly, because I don't want anybody to try this at home. But there's personal bits and pieces of his, and I've put a charge on it, which they won't be able to do at home, that's why I did it before we came down here. If you're here, can you move the planchette? If there's a spirit person that wants to talk to us, can you move the planchette, please? Let us know that you're here. I feel it twitching. That could be our vibrations. Good thing. Mm. In the past, haven't they been wax? You can, yeah, they used to be wax, or they were made like this, which is the old English witch's way, which is Hessian. And you've got bits of certain plants and, and straw and stuff like that inside. So it's a real old rustic way of making one. And this is how they used to work. Just kind of connection to this place anyway, isn't it? Yeah, the in the area. that's right. There's still witches in the area now. So let's uh, do the experiment and let's hope it works. Well, if, you know what, Fred, before you do anything, I've got to say, and I'm going to say that, you know how sceptical I am about these yeah. sorts of the, the voodoo thing. I know we've done it before, but if this works, um, uh, I'm going to be amazed, absolutely amazed. Can you move the planchette, please? Can you... Sp oh, I know. Oh, the table moves then, did it? Or was that no, just that us was leaving? Just leaving it. Can you okay. please spell out your name? It's very slow, isn't it? D. D.
Okay. Hey. 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 V. V. This is really active. Aye. Aye. Is it? David. 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 Okay. What can you say, Eamon? When you stop asking questions, it actually, we're getting quite big wavelengths. So oh, that's in response. Going again. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, oh, the turn yeah. moving. Was that? Did no, you that was that, that was me. Oh, right. no, okay. That was me because I, I reached over too much. Right. Right. Good, good. Knocking. Amy, Amy, your feet that. not moving. Oh. No, no, no. That's my chair, that tapping. Okay. I have a creaky chair. E. What was the letter before E? N. N. N E. N E. Might be spelling his surname. N E. 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 N E E. Yeah, keep going. Could be the beginning of his surname. Because we didn't ask for anything else, it's just going Just will go into it. Need. Need. Dave. David. Need. Need. Continue. Go on. Oh. oh. So what are you going to do first? That you'll um, believe it forever. Well, first of all, his, his right arm. I'm going to put the pin on it. Oh! Jeez. Right. What, 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 what? Oh! This is, this is pulling. What happened, Steve? What, what happened? I just had a sharp sensation. Just try and describe it. exactly what kind There's of nothing. like a, just, a needle just a, or a. I don't. Ah! F hell! Oh! It's happening on this arm as well. Oh, I don't like that. I don't like this. I'm guessing this is probably what is Fred is. What Fred Fred's is doing? doing? <gasps> well, is he doing a voodoo? Job? I don't know what the f is he's doing. doing. Is he doing a puppet? I reckon he's doing a. Puppet. Ah! Right. Well. Can you write me? Oh, just at the back of my leg. Don't say he's doing that, Yvette. Oh. Ah, it's, I can feel it. I, it's like a sharp sensation. Oh. So your right arm was first, then your left, left arm, arm, and then the back right, of your right, right knee. Right leg, yeah, right. Oh. That's the most bizarre, strange thing I've ever felt. There's no marks there. You can't see there's no reason there's why nothing, there's nothing there at all. There's nothing there at all. Ouch! Are you alright? Anything on the EVT while that happens? I'm just trying to feel there's all kinds of wave things coming in. That feels like sciatica pain now. That's what that feels like. Good man. Oh, I mean. Um. To spell out David need no. <coughs> yes. So I don't know if it was you. We had the number one as in David need no one rather than spell out David need no one. Ah, did it? Okay, David need no one. But did it not say David need and then it, the next word began with O? Um, oh, yes, it was. Was it? it? David yeah. Need, oh, was and it? then the next word was O. You, you can't see? I can't see. What? I 
Then all my vision's impaired. I honestly can't see. I can't see a thing, honestly. I'm panicking. Don't panic. I can't Don't see. Worry. I Don't can't panic. see. Sit back. Sit back in the chair. It's alright, Stu. We're here with you, mate. Okay. Now, I won't keep you on there too long because he'll be frightened of that. He'll, he'll really be scared. You okay, Stuart? Yeah, fine. Can you see now, yeah? Yeah. Hey, what have you been getting on? Everything just went black. He's busy. For a few seconds, I just couldn't see it, honestly. Can you see it This now? is the most surreal moment I think I've ever had in my life. So you're telling me? that just by sticking your fingers over the eyes of that, Stuart would have gone blind. He would have felt he pains would, in his, his he arm. He will have gone blind. He'll think he's gone blind for a few seconds. So you've gone right arm, left arm, right leg, left leg. Yeah. So if that happens, we know that there's no there's proof. That will happen. That will happen. You seem really sure of yourself. I'm not, but you seem really sure. I'm not, you've done some amazing things, Fred. I'm not knocking that, but this... It's well, okay. now what I've got to do though is take the charge out of this so that if anybody touches this or I want to show it to anybody, no one can harm him at all. It's all gone. So, if you just can I film that? Can I film that? No. Okay. To be fair, I'm really skeptical about this sort of stuff. Fred does some He's chanting now. But he's done some amazing stuff in the past. But um, if this works, I will be amazed. I'm perfectly safe now. So anybody can handle that now, and uh, you can do anything you like with it. Nothing will happen. I can see now. Can you describe exactly what it felt like? It was just like a sharp pain. Like someone was sticking a pin in you or something? Yeah. Oh my God. But it also... I'll tell you, because I've suffered with triatic for years now. Right. And I know what triatic is like because you get a sharp burning sensation, it runs down the side, mm. it's a trapped nerve, yeah, and yeah. that's what that was feeling like. But it's, it's kind of it's like an electric shock, but it's like a stabbing sensation at the same time. It's usually caused by um, inflamed discs in your, in your spine though, isn't it? Yeah. Pushing against the static nerve. Pushing against the static um, nerve. But could it not also be the fact that you sat in a chair, you were leaning over the table, and also consider you've been carrying equipment around all day? Yeah, but I've never had that before. No, that's unusual. I I've could never, understand I've never it reacted if it was in one place. If it was in one, if it was one, was one, one place, place, in the same place. But, yeah. but for that to happen like that, and then to lose, you're saying you lost the, the sight, and you're. Yeah, I yeah. don't like it. I think I, I've seen this been done before, and I have to say it was the most weird thing I've ever seen, and I still don't know what to make of it. Even after following specific guidelines and the experiment being conducted in front of a whole team, including a sceptic with synchronised cameras, we were two floors apart from each other, and after watching the footage back several times, I'm still mystified as to what to make of it. I'm sure this will polarise opinion to those watching. I know it has within the team. Perplexed and bewildered, our investigation had now come to an intriguing end. What's that noise? I don't know. I just said it. Uh, yeah, I heard that. What was that? That was, that was down the end. Can you hear me? Oh! Oh! It does sound like this sometimes, like this footsteps along the corridor yeah, yeah. behind you. But there's not some energy down Fred, there. Fred, there's not. There's not. That's under my feet again. Carl, you're right. Tell us you can hear that. I can hear it. Come here, what's that? Do you know what's weird? What? Can you, can you smell like um, burnt wood? That sounded like a female voice. That was at the end again. A moan, definitely a moan. It was a. <sighs> get up! Whoa! Get up! 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 Get Third time lucky. So what are you going to do first? That you'll um, believe it forever. Well, first of all, his his right arm. I'm going to put the pin. Ah, on it. Jesus! Oh. Right. What? 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 what, what? Oh! This is this is pulling. I can't see. What? 
and all my visions in pad. Until next time, sleep tight.